Welcome back. Lots to track in the weather department. So Does we've it? been enjoying a few days here, uh, but we don't want to be fooled. Yeah. And it seems to change <clears throat> pretty quickly. It's, it's a challenge. I mean, yeah. it's weird. It's we knew the storm was going to be here and it's still here and that it's that's good. That hasn't but changed. the timeline has shifted and it, there are details. So we're going to get to those. Good news is it's pretty quiet ahead of it. It was beautiful today. 52 in Portland, 53 in Sanford, 56 in Freiburg. Still got a little that left. Sun setting after 7 o'clock, but we're not going to spend too much time on that because um, we want to talk about this storm here, which is just starting to develop. By the way, before the storm gets to us, a couple of day severe weather outbreak is likely. You can see Oklahoma right now in a tornado watch. So these two pieces come together. The low sits out here, then transfers to a coastal low on Wednesday afternoon. That's when things go downhill for us. Just to cover the next you know, 36 hours or so, we do have a couple of snow showers in the northern mountains, a couple of rain showers into the foothills through this evening. That dries up. Tomorrow is actually a pretty nice day. I don't think it's quite as nice as today, but it's not bad. Temperatures in the upper 40s, a couple of low 50s possible. Clouds start to stream in on Tuesday evening, and Wednesday is largely cloudy from the get-go. But as I noted, and as Amanda noted, originally we were thinking this thing would start late Tuesday night into early Wednesday. Now it looks like Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening. So that makes a significant difference for schools and, and people's jobs and everything as to the timing here. So here we are at noon. Now this is going to be this is complicated, but these are three hour chunks because this is a, a global model. So this doesn't necessarily mean it's going to start at noon. But in the three hours after that, we'll start to see some precipitation, which initially along the coast may be rain if it comes in at, say, 3, 4 o'clock. We might start as rain at 37 degrees. But everywhere else, it's snow right from the get-go through Wednesday evening. And this is when things pick up. After midnight Wednesday through the first half of Thursday, I think we do a lot of our accumulating snow during that time period, particularly along the coast where surface temperatures are pretty marginal. So we need it to be nighttime, ideally, and we need the precip rates to be heavy. That happens Wednesday night into Thursday. We crash down to snow all the way into the coastline. It is thrown down snow hard inland into the mountains in across central and northern Maine. That snow continues all day on Thursday, but the coast might have a little trouble keeping it all snow, going back with sleet, maybe a little bit of rain along the islands and the immediate coastline over southern coastal Maine, still snow inland through Thursday night, and then this thing gets what we call vertically stacked on Friday. So we'll see periods of showers and snow on Friday and into Saturday, but I don't think we'll do any substantial accumulation at that point. Okay, so this map has a lot going on here. Um, oh, and I did not save what I wanted to do. Okay, well, it's close. I'll show you an update here in a second. I had added a bullseye here, and I must not have saved that scene so that it would show up here. So I added an 18 plus bullseye right over Freiburg here into Bridgeton. So other than that, we're looking at the same map here. The heaviest snowfall totals will be inland. Along the coast, we'll be dealing with mixing. That's where the greatest uncertainty still exists, because even though we've talked about the storm for a while now, we still have tomorrow and basically most of Wednesday before it arrives. So there's still some room for adjustment there. There will be some gusty winds as well. Wednesday night, Thursday, 40 to 45 miles an hour, maybe 50. I think we'll see some power outages potentially along the coastline. Real quick, guys, this is next Monday, according to the European model at 3 p.m. Love that for us. So we'll see if that holds. I think it's not going to be raining or snowing. We know that. So that's a good start. Cloud cover is a little harder to predict, but it looks good. So, yeah, um, again, the worst of that Wednesday night, Thursday, I think there'll be a lot of schools canceled on Thursday. That's the toughest part. Mm. Friday and Saturday, it will be showery, it will be snowy here and there, but it's really hard with low precipitation rates in April to get it to stick much after that. But it'll just be kind of kicking around there. You know that snow. Right. Where it's like, wow, it's really snowing, and then you look at the ground. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Keith, thank you.